there are a new concept in a world of coding called chat oriented programming or a shop for short imagine with me a future where coding feels more like chatting with a helpful assistant rather than wrestling with a complex code sounds cool right well we already stepping into the future thanks to the tool like ChatGPT and cloud sonnet my goal, by the end of this video, you will understand what shop, how it changed the way that we're writing and debugging code right now, and how can we use it to speed up our coding workflow. So let's get started. For decades, coding has followed a pretty straightforward process. You figure out what is need to be done, search for solution, and write the code. Test it and review it. A lot of that time isn't even spent writing code. It's about understanding a problem, researching, and sifting through a code basis. But with a chat oriented programming approach, that old workflow is getting a major upgrade. And instead of manually searching for answer, you can now ask a question directly to an AI like ChatGPT. It is can your code provide a relevant answer and even help writing and debugging your code for you. In short, should make your coding feel more like chatting with a friend. In a real life example, one of the hardest part of coding is understanding a new or a large code base. The pre-shop era, you might spend hours reading documentation, erasing function calls, and adding logging statement to figure out how everything works. With shop, it's a whole new game. Let's say that you're trying to add a new feature to your project. And instead of manually searching through endless file, you can just ask an AI assistant something like, how do I add this new feature? The AI will search the relevant files for you, explain function, and even suggest code snippet to get you started. It's like robotic guide that know every detail about your project and can answer your questions instantly. Before chat-oriented programming, writing code felt like staring at a blank canvas. You had an idea of what you wanted to do, but you do spend a lot of time basing together code snippet from memory or other older project or Google or Stack Overflow. Now with chat-oriented programming, you can start with a simple request and the AI will fill in the gaps. It's like having a Professor X as partner who is really good at reading your mind. You can tell the AI what is your goal and it will suggest specific code snippets, even offering improvement along the way. And this isn't just for writing code from scratch. Shop also can help you with refactoring existing code and speeding up test-driven development by generating both code and the test for it. Even the best coder face bugs and debugging can be time consuming in traditional way you manually review error logs search through files and set different fixes until you find something that will work with chat oriented programming the, the ai becomes your personal debugger for example let's say that you hit a confusing error message in your code and instead google it for hour or ask Stack Overflow and get called stupid for asking the question, you can ask AI to explain the error in plain language. And it will even suggest a fix for you. The day of rubber duck debugging, where you explain a problem to an inanimate object, are over. Now we have an AI assistant that not only listens, but provides solutions too. Shop also can keep your code clean. Maintaining a large code base is tough. Before the shop era, developer would spend a lot of time cleaning up code, refactoring, and ensure that everything flow the best practice. This is essential for preventing something called tech debit when a quick fix is pile up and slow down the development. Chat-oriented programming helps us by identifying the problem in your code by suggesting improvement. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to find what is lacking in this code and what area that it might cause issue down the line. It will scan your code, then it will point out potential problem and even suggest way to improve the structure. 
I mean, the AI doesn't all the work for you, but it sure make your process faster and more efficient. The whole chat oriented programming go beyond our code. Shop isn't just for our own project. With tools like Copilot and Repository GPT, you can even chat with an open source repo. For example, you could ask Code Assistant how Next GS handle file based routing, how, or how Laravel managed SQL relationship, aka ORM. It's like having an instant access to a coding inside Colopedia that's tailored to your specific questions. And instead of reading through a tons of documentation, you get your answer directly from the code base itself. The chat oriented programming, it is still in its early stages, but it already showing an incredible promise as an AI tool like Cursor or Cloud Sonnet and GBT continue to improve, coding will become more about collaboration and less about manual searching and troubleshooting. You will focus more on the big picture and let AI handle the repetitive tasks. And it will not make you a better developer. In fact, if you are not aware of what you are doing and don't understand the code that the assistant generate, you are not ready to use it yet. Go back and work on a project in a normal way, not on the shop way. But if you are a developer looking to speed up your workflow and reduce the stress of debugging or navigating a complex code base, it's time to give chat-oriented programming a try. Tools like Cursor or Continue or Ader are making it easier than ever to interact with your code in a natural, conversational way. I am planning to make videos in the future on how to use chat oriented programming similar to Aders with an open source model for coding like the Queen 2.5 coder that's work offline and Bear AI a new tool that is still in development this two topic actually have been already such requested in a previous videos so if you are interested hit the big button down below thank you for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like it it helped me a lot. This is Sam, and I will see you next time for more content on the future of coding and AI.